On this Memorial Day Eve, Steve Hartman is looking ahead to reprise the observance he championed last year. Ten-year-old Caitlin Sanders of Ellicott City, Maryland is hard at work, practicing the 24 notes that will give this Memorial Day its resonance. Because if it sounds terrible, it's not going to connect as well, so. Well, I heard you, and it was a lot better than terrible. Thanks. Caitlin and her sister Lauren are returning participants in what we hope is becoming an American tradition. We started Taps Across America last year as a way to safely commemorate Memorial Day during the pandemic. And the response we got still gives me chills, almost as much as the song itself. At precisely 3 o'clock, musicians from all 50 states played Taps in what turned out to be one of the largest musical tributes of all time. Roughly 20,000 soloists, all playing in harmony. I was quite emotional when I saw the videos. Yari Villanueva is with Taps for Veterans and our partner in this wonder. How do you explain it? I think this comes from an underlying feeling of Americans wanting to, to, to be part of something bigger than they are. Yeah, I just decided that's what I need to do. Bob Drews of Mobile, Alabama had never played an instrument before, but after seeing what happened last year, he felt compelled to take part this year. Now the work begins. He has been practicing every day, much to his family's chagrin. What'd you think of that? Yuck! <laughs> My granddaughter. So I have a house full of critics, but I'm still motivated because it means a lot to me. In a country too often divided, this is the call we all can answer. So if you play, whatever you play, please join us Monday for Taps Across America.